Robin Nicole here. I'm guessing a lot of you guys probably came over to this vlog because you guys saw my most recent Instagram post. Not the most flattering picture, but that's the reality. That's what I look like right now. I don't look like a model. I have lots of curves. I have too much fat on my body, but I don't want to stay this way. I want to change. So something I am starting beginning tomorrow, July 1st, 2019, is I'm kickstarting my health and wellness journey. I want to get back to a healthy weight, not just to look better, but to feel better. I want the weight off of my joints and I want more confidence and to just feel better in my own skin. So you can't get there without setting goals. So this is what I drew up for myself. The first two things that most people think of when they think of health and wellness are diet and exercise. So those are my top two focuses. But I don't want to go too crazy. I've done that before. When I was in junior high and high school, despite what I look like now, I actually used to struggle really bad with anxiety and had a really hard time gaining weight. Um, so I know for me personally, it would be very easy to slip back into these old patterns. So I have to be very careful about that. So I'm starting small, starting with small goals, and once I start forming those new habits, then I can add on other new habits. So the top two things I'm focusing on here, for my diet, for the month of July, the only thing I'm focusing, I'm not trying to cut anything out, I'm not trying to add anything in, my only focus is on portion control and eating the right size portions. This is so important, especially in American society, most of us tend to overeat. That's how I fit on all this weight. I gained over 100 pounds the year I moved to South Carolina because the food here is so good. I love food and I don't want to hinder myself by trying to take that away because when you do those lose weight quick diets, the reason they don't stick and why you gain the weight back is because you still have those cravings. So I want to avoid that. I want to nip that in the butt. I want to start small by just controlling my portion sizes and most importantly for me is to just stop eating when I feel full. Sometimes I feel full but I keep eating because the food is so good. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to put my body through that. My next focus is exercise. Right now, I am an EMT, I work 12 hour days, and I have a long commute. So that means when I go to work, I am out of the house for at least 15 hours a day if I get off on time, which rarely happens if I'm honest. But my work schedule is actually changing. I'm going down to 10 hour shifts, which gives me an additional two hours in my day. And so for me, I'm gonna take that time to fill it with things that are gonna help my body to be healthier and help my mind to be happier. So one of those things is I want to start small again so that I don't go too overboard is I'm going to start exercising. I'm going to try for 30 minutes a day and on days that I'm not working and this is something that I already kind of do is I'm going to try and aim for an hour and 15 minutes of exercise. That is the minimum. I am allowed to go over that in Quite frankly, I probably will. On my days off, I actually do spend quite a bit of time at the gym. In addition to that, I think core strength, obviously my core is something I really need to work on, but also core strength helps. It's like the foundation of the body for everything else. So at least five minutes a day of that exercise is gonna be focused just on ab exercises and strengthening my core. But health and wellness is about more than just diet and exercise. It's also about your mental health and your spiritual health. So some other practices I'm going to take in here is I'm going to start meditating for at least 10 minutes a day. I actually use the Headspace app on my phone, so that's what I'm going to continue to use. And I want that to help me to just um, get my mind in the right space to be present in the moment and not so much focused on the past or the future, but to just really truly be in the moment and that's especially going to help me with the diet and intuitive eating and making sure that I'm paying attention to the way my body feels and so that I'm not overeating. So that really just plays right back into diet and it also plays into exercise because exercise is honestly more mental than it is physical. Um, so I just want to make sure that my mental health is being taken care of. Spiritual health is also very important to me. I am a Christian and I don't spend enough time with God as I should. So again, want to start small so that I don't just give up if I accidentally mess up one day. So I'm going to start with 15 minutes a day 
of intentional time spent with God. And that can mean anything from reading my Bible to praying to um, singing out loud in my car or in the streets or wherever. Um, but those are some things that are my goals for the month of July that are really going to just help me to feel better about myself. You can hear just in my voice how excited I am to start this because I know this is going to be transformative. So come along on my journey with me. Stay tuned. I will be posting a new video on this channel every single Saturday in the month of July and I will take it week by week going through these different areas and talking about this journey that I'm on. So go ahead and join me. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit that little bell. Make sure you turn on your notifications to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. Leave me some comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I will link my Instagram below. Make sure you follow me there too. See y'all soon. Bye.